G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to work out the circumference of a circle. That is the perimeter, the distance around the outside of this circle. So we start out with our circle here and we're just going to label the major parts of the circle. So we have this distance from the center here to the edge. This is the radius. I'll just write that in. And we often give that the letter of R. We also have this distance here which goes from one end of the circle to the other edge of the circle, going through the center, and this is the diameter, okay? And this is going to be often drawn down as a D. We also have this distance around the outside, which is what we're going to be working out, which is the circumference. That is this distance going right around the outside of our circle here, okay? And this is often written as a C. So, now we've got all that, how do we go about working this distance out, this distance of the circumference? Well, there's a formula that quite often gets used, and it's this one here. The circumference is equal to 2 times pi times r. Okay, pi we'll get to in a second. But this can be rewritten as something even easier. You'll probably notice that 2 times the radius here is equal to the diameter. So this can be rewritten as the circumference is equal to the diameter times pi. All right, so what is pi? Now, pi is equal to the circumference divided by the diameter, as you can see if you rearrange this, but it's always 3.1415 bigger. That is to say, the circumference is always pi times bigger than the diameter. Now, look, you're probably going to have a button for pi on your calculator, but it's around about the following. It's around about 3.14159. So what I'm really saying here is that the circumference of any circle is around about 3.14159. 159 times bigger than the distance across that circle. So if you want to work out how far the distance is around, measure the distance across and multiply it by this 3.14159, this pi. All right, so let's try this. Now for our first example, we're going to look at a circle whose diameter is six centimeters and we're going to work out the circumference. First off, what we're gonna work out is roughly what the circumference is, and then we're going to work out exactly what the circumference is. So roughly, what I'd be doing is I'd go, okay, we know the diameter is equal to six centimeters, and pi is equal to about 3.14. So we'd multiply that by three and just a little bit, three and a bit. <laughs> so what is six times three and a little bit? You can say, okay, this is gonna be roughly equal to six threes to 18. So maybe 18, maybe a bit 19, so it's gonna be a little bit over 18. What is it going to be exactly? So if we go, what is six times pi? And you'll have pi on your calculator. This is gonna be 3.14159, so on and so forth. The more decimal places you use, the more exact you'll get here. You would see that this is going to be equal to 18.85 centimeters, okay? Roundabouts. And as you can see here, this is between 18 and 19. We have a good answer here. It's not a bad idea with this, just to give it a bit of an estimation what it might be first. So that's the way I'd go about working out the circumference here. The circumference, the distance around the outside is going to be 18.85 centimeters. Okay, what about we do another one? So for our second example, we have a circle whose radius is four centimeters and we're going to work out the circumference. To do this, I'm going to first work out the diameter and then I'm going to go from there. I'm going to work out an estimation and then I'm going to work out the exact amount. So first off, what is the diameter going to be? The diameter is going to be twice that of four centimeters. So twice of four centimeters is eight centimeters. The circumference then is going to be eight centimeters multiplied by three and a bit, three and a little bit. So what's that going to be? Well. 8 times 3 is roughly 24. So we're going to expect an answer above 24, maybe 25, maybe 26 sort of thing. So now let's work out the circumference exactly. The circumference is going to be equal to 8 times, not 3 and a bit, it's 8 times the exact pi, which is pi, 3.14159, blah, blah, blah. And that is going to be equal to 25.13 centimeters. Once again, the more exact that you use pi, the more exact that your answer is going to be. And sometimes you don't need exact answers. Sometimes near enough is okay, and sometimes your teacher is going to want you to be really, really exact. So obviously use it as much as you need to as you go along here. So anyway, I hope you like that explanation on how to work out the circumference. Once again, depending on how exact you need to be, you're either going to be multiplying that diameter by three and a bit, 
or you're going to be multiplying it by pi exactly 3.1415. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me making videos on YouTube, please consider following me on Patreon, where you can donate as little as a dollar for each video I made. And the link is in the description, or you can probably see the link on screen right now. Also, a like would be nice, as well as a comment. We'll see you next time. Bye.